guys have the same problem. <laughs> and we're actually just kind of walking around looking for stuff. I'm, I'm on this one island, this place, and the guy's like, you know, they got a sail over on that other island, some whole lot of stuff they're just giving it away. I'm like, what's, with you? what's your problem? He said, she, you know, I, I said something about it and like something she cooked. And I was like, for real? Uh -huh. I said, man, I said something too, but it was like three months ago and she brought it up today and I don't remember it. So I can't go home. Yet. <laughs> and, it's, and it's my place. Uh huh. You know, yeah. So I had an idea. I had an idea for years to have, have a restaurant where you walk in and it's just uh, stand up sinks. Yeah. <laughs> and it's yeah. Yeah. most single man. Because yeah, that's how for, Tom eats. It's for men only. I will. Yeah, yeah. 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 You walk in, you get your own sink. Mm -hmm. You don't do it by yourself. How often do you set the table for yourself and sit down and eat? No, you stand over the. You know, right? Wow. You meet, meet your fellow, uh, mm -hmm. your fellow guys. Just stay up, baby. Mm -hmm. That'd be interesting. I'd probably pass them. <laughs> <laughs> I like to sit at the table uh, or right in front of the TV on a dinner tray. I don't know. We have big screen TVs hanging out everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't need to sit out. That's clutch. Always on the screen. Really Wait, just come up wouldn't ask a lot of questions, so how come you're here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, table for one. Yeah. Well, you know, now, table now, for one. It's like my family knows her now, you know, but they want to be reintroduced to her again. You know, so like my mom is coming out for Thanksgiving, and I'm, I'm like, Ma, you talk to her just about every day. Mm -hmm. So she says, I, I want to, I, I don't know it's what's different now. She got sure. a ring now, I got to come really look at it now. So yeah, I told Cynthia, you, you better start cooking all the soul food you know how to cook, because <laughs> my family's all about cholesterol, baby. You know, like, <laughs> the more the better. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> but she's a, she's a health nut. She's a health nut, man. I said, man, you got to start using Crisco for something. Mm -hmm. You know, butter for Crisco. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I said, let me show you. Uh -huh. You know, get the oil. Don't get the one that's already the oil. Get the one that's uh, like the hard looking lard. You know, oh, the big can. Yeah, the oh, can. Yeah. You know, leave it on the leave it on the stove and reuse it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the more you fry chicken in it, yeah. it gets more yes. and better, yes. it more yes. flavor. Yes, uh, absolutely. Oh. How long did you uh, practice long now? Uh, I practiced long like two years. Really? A couple of years. And I found that, the, you know, the trial was focused on my client, not so much on me. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I can understand that. Well, welcome back to the Bob Top Show. Hey. And uh, we have great guests in the studio. They include Ralph Harris, who's right over there. Yeah, baby. Uh, Longtime friend of the show. Ralph has uh, recently uh, become uh, engaged. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Got her a nice ring. Great thing. She has a size five finger. Less diamonds. <laughs> uh, the smaller the finger, it looks yes, Well, because she's she in an eternity band, so yeah, all the way around. How, why do all women know everything about jewelry? I, don't know. I didn't know it was until Chrissy told me. I was like, Chrissy, what is an eternity band? I kind of helped Ralph out on this. That sounds like forever to me, right? An eternity mm -hmm. band is a band just that's all diamonds all the way around. Yeah. Ah, oh, so yeah. the number of payments though. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. exactly. I see. I gotta work on Saturdays at the store to just pay the bring up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I'm Ralph Harrison. Uh, yeah. I'm standing out of this. So I'm doing tonight's show now. I'm not doing it either. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, former attorney. Now comedian, uh, Star Search winner, Al Bell is here with us. How long did you uh, practice law, Al? Uh, I practiced law like two years. Really? A couple of years, and uh, I just didn't uh, really like it. Uh, I just didn't, I found that, the, you know, the trial was focused on my client, not so much on me. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I can understand. And, uh, I mean, he, he murdered somebody, and suddenly so he's Mr. Popular. <laughs> I see Johnny Cochran managed to turn that around. Somehow. You need some catchphrases. Uh, some of yeah. that stuff that rhymes. You don't fit. You must have quit. Mm -hmm. you know? On the OJ trial, uh, not the one that just happened, the, the first one. Yeah. OJ Classic. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> Yeah, on the OJ trial, I gotta say I know OJ did it on the first one, on the first trial. That's mm -hmm. my, that was my feeling. I know OJ did it. And I, I have a friend who's a lawyer. She says to me, "How do you know OJ did it? You weren't at the scene of the crime." And I think for being a lawyer, sometimes I like to argue just just for the sake of arguing. Because mm -hmm. I said to her, "Were you at the scene of the crime?" Mm -hmm. She said, "No." I said, "So then, how do you know I wasn't at the scene of the crime?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't do better as a lawyer. <laughs> I was a lazy lawyer. 
like him. Now, we talked to Ralph about your family background quite a bit. Yes, indeed. We haven't talked to Al about it. Al, uh, big family, small family? Uh, uh, it was a small family. I was an only child. Oh, that's small. Yeah. A very, uh, a very uh, spoiled, and uh, my mother would always say to me, you know, I think about a spoiled brat, I think about a spoiled brat. But I was thinking, you know, if my mother didn't give in to me, I could never become a brat. Right? You can't right. become a brat if your parent doesn't keep, give in to you. So mm -hmm. my mother is yelling at me for being something that she created. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. right? That's like that's like walking up to somebody, stabbing them in the chest and going, you're such a victim. You're <laughs> 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 yeah. such a victim. All you do is bleed and moan. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. And I, I was very spoiled. And I think, it, you know, uh, they, people always warn my mother and me, like, you know, when he gets up, when he grows up, you know, it's going to be a problem if you keep spoiling him like this. And it has turned into a problem. I, I'm like a living mistake. You know, my mother made a mistake and I am the mistake. Uh, but yeah, the thing about my mother, maybe that was just too truthful and funny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a mistake. It's sad. It's sad. I'm starting to tear up over here, Al. <laughs> that, that's what I want. I, I, I love pity. Uh -huh. And uh, self-pity and pity for mothers, whatever mm -hmm. pity I can get. But I do blame my mother for my problems. I honestly do. Now, you may say, though, but... Who, you know, who are you? You know, what about yourself? Why don't you take responsibility yourself? But who are you? You're a combination of your genes and your environment. That's who a person is, a genes and environment. I got my crazy environment from my mother. Now you may say, what about your genes? Yeah, but where did I get my genes? From my mother and my father. You may say, yeah, but what about your father? Maybe you got your bad genes from your father. Yeah, but who picked my father? My mother. <laughs> so it's still her fault. <laughs> <laughs> So well, okay. we'll see. What if we talk about you? You're from Queens, New York, originally. Right. Queens. Now living, now living in Manhattan. Now living in Manhattan. I made. I live in a decent place now, but I used to to save money. Uh, a few years ago, I lived in an SRO, single room occupancy. You just get a room right. and a sink, and you share a bathroom down the hall with people. Right. I'm not joking. How small my room was. I swear, I'm not joking. Five by ten. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Five Four, by ten. Your bed and five, all your stuff. Right. Five by ten. I mean, how small that is? I'm two by six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, five by ten. But ultimately, it's all a matter of how you look at it. Like, you know, I didn't live in a really small, tiny little room, but rather in quite a spacious casket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's yeah. like a, that's like look a at jail it. cell big, isn't it? Right. What's well, smaller than a jail like, cell? Jail, jail cell. cell you actually get a toilet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You get your own toilet. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah, but it's only an 8 by 10. And, yeah. and an 8 by 10. Yeah, jail cells are, I live below jail cell living. Wow. Yeah. Mm. It was, uh, and, but you know, for me, like, I just, honestly, I'm very lazy. I just lie in bed all day, do nothing anyway. I, I just lie in bed all day long. You know what I'm saying? They're going to put it on my tombstone. May he continue to rest in peace. <laughs> uh, may he continue to rest in peace in his new three by seven. <laughs> My new best friend. I think so. Yeah. Uh, I like everything he's saying. Yeah. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, hi. Thanks for joining us. With us in the studio, comedian Ralph Harris. Uh, Ralph hey. At the news desk. Hey. Yeah, at the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Chicken hey. across the way at Sports Control. Yeah. I have an email. Uh... Tom, you've been uh, putting some drops in your eye this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. it's a little, uh, it does look red and swollen mm -hmm. and very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Little issue. Uh, uh, what you're saying, how expensive, expensive it was. Like very pricey. 60 bucks for 60 blinds. bucks for a uh, solution. A pinky sized wow. bottle on the table. Wow. Wow. Stuff. Mm -hmm. We figure a gallon of it would be a million dollars. Yes. Dear Bob and Tom, yes. email we received from, uh, I'll just call this person Bob. All right. Dear Bob and Tom, driving home from work last night, sitting at a stoplight, I look over in the drugstore parking lot and see a man standing behind his SUV with the back popped open. The man was looking toward the sky, putting eye drops in his eye. <laughs> While this was happening, what looked like his young son was either shadow boxing or playing an air guitar. Play. <laughs> that was terrible. I just sat there and laughed. I told my wife about it later. Mm -hmm. We both laughed. <laughs> and now, driving to work this morning, hearing Tom's predicament, I realized it was indeed Tommy G mm -hmm. using his million dollar a gallon eye <laughs> yeah. while his son hit some chords uh, or right. was punching someone's face. Shadow boxing. Wow. He was shadow boxing. He was shadow boxing. Yeah. <laughs> Is he going to be a boxer? <laughs> Yes, we have. Yes. There you go. This is uh, beginning to look sort of like a uh, 
sort of like a movie about uh, a group of guys being sent to Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming from the country, man. <laughs> We've got uh, 